Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this is a special recording I'm doing for rotation concept. So first of all, uh, let's uh, talk about uh, one part here. Shape A, draw the image of shape A after rotation through 180 degree, center 0, 0. So center 0, 0 is here. Okay. And first of all, uh, what I will do, I have rotate this object, this shape. Okay. And so let's see how we can do it. So one method is a tracing paper. Okay, I will trace on it. And this is a way, make sure center must be on the range of paper. So I am tracing it. All right, tracing done. And what center, zero, zero. And make sure this is a cross. I'm going to make it 90 degree cross. Attentive please. You can see that, you can see here, this across and each angle 90 90 90 so if I need 90 so this point should go here if it's 180 so this point go here 90 again 90 give you 180 so let's start I'll put pencil at center like this and uh, it is going let's see, this is called this is called 90 degree clockwise 90 degree clockwise if I continue same way and this is called 90 plus 90, 180 degree. Slightly remove and mark it. And mark the points. This point and this point and this point and this point. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. So I hope so. You got very clear that rotation and one more thing tell you. 90 degree he will mention clockwise anti-clockwise you can see the last page here but for 180 degree he will not mention clock or anti-clockwise so i hope so the point is very clear and let's talk about one more part is there here mentioned here shape a draw the image of uh, shape a after rotation 90 degree anti-clockwise center uh, center i think i'm going to take here uh, let's take um, anti-clockwise so I think center take negative 3 4 negative 3 and 4 so let's see now where's negative 3 4 students negative 3 4 is here x is negative 3 and y is 4 here point okay this point is center all right now I'm going to do same job I will make it I will do it same drawing I will use it but this time center is not here. Center is here. I'm across. And now 90 degree uh, anti-clockwise. This is called anti-clockwise. This is called clockwise. So I keep pencil here. And anti-clockwise means this way. So what will happen? You see, this is a, an anti-clockwise. This, 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 and stop. And this is my answer. Slightly remove the paper. This is a six. Okay and just remove a slightly mark here there's a four slightly mark here and this point is here and here so alhamdulillah rabbil alameen i hope so the point is very very clear and i have done it uh, this is clock and this is clock anti-clockwise so this is very clear so image is not hard to find it and whenever image comes this come for two marks you can see the two marks here Okay, now let's talk about reverse question. Okay, this is a very, very easy. And uh, I'm going to do now uh, question number four in this worksheet. And I'm going to do with you reverse question. What is the reverse question, students? Look, let's read it here. Uh, this is a June 19. I'm doing and variant 43 and question number three. I'm doing one part only from here. Uh, describe fully whenever describe fully comes single transmission that maps a onto b make sure after onto is called image and before onto is called object so this is for three marks come whenever this come for three marks one mark for for name one mark for name one mark for center of rotation and one mark for direction direction like nine direction and angle direction and angle okay so let's start students 
uh, this question I will do in two ways okay so first of all I will teach you how to find center rotation okay there is there are two ways one way is our tracing paper which is short way and one is a long way so let's start the short way <clears throat> because he said a onto b so a is object and i is a is image i will start from here and go this way common sense it is a uh, okay first of all I, I will write one mark rotation rotation and this is called clock rotation uh, clockwise clockwise now I don't know what is angle what is center so let's start so first of all which is object you will draw here we will draw object sketch on the sketch on the big paper now I want to find center center I don't know suppose I, I try origin and I will rotate and see it is not going on the shape so it is wrong go back this is called trial and error method I check with this number and rotate it is again not meeting not matching with that okay then I try with this and again it is not not matching not meeting with the points and as I will try this point it will exactly meet exactly and this point is center and this point is x is 1 y is minus 1 so uh, and this is called and one more thing center is x is 1 and y is minus 1 okay and uh, clock what is direction actually and I join this for example this uh, there's a P and there's a P dash so it is going there okay so what if I join P with the an, uh, angle with that then what is this angle turns to be 90 degree so 90 degree clockwise and center given here so one mark for name one mark for this one one mark for center I hope so you got my point but I will do the same question in the second way okay so this is a very very clear I'm going to erase it and I'm going to do same question but in another, another way so have a look here what is second method although center is very clear second method is little lengthy I will use this is called compass method okay examiner will not mind it you use any method you will get a full marks so let's see how we can do the uh, compass method. So for that reason, you need a compass and uh, um, and just simply, you know, first of all, I want to teach you how to draw a perpendicular bisector. For example, this point P and this point P dash. So first of all, you've done it maybe lower grades, put a needle at here at P dash and the, the gap how much gap between them slightly more than half half is here so slightly more than half compass you will make it is one arc and same compass put needle now second point and make a second arc so where they intersecting at this point and this point and take a scale and draw this is called perpendicular bisector this line which I drew after that is called perpendicular bisector now I will I'm going to do what I'm going to make a two perpendicular bisector P is here this P dash this is a P I'm going to make a perpendicular bisector with a P and P dash so let's start first of all I put needle here and the gap between slightly more than half more than half or you can more even so I think so this much is okay I put needle here it is not compulsory to make it uh, full arc like some student make full arc you can make one arc here and one here okay even don't make it no problem now I put needle at P dash okay and I'm going to make look at here I'm going to make P dash this okay and where the intersecting you can see the points one point here and one point here when I join it uh, this point and that point I draw okay now I don't know where center is I draw P and P dash let's take uh, uh, another point okay there's one one more pair I think so if I try that top Q dash and Q is here okay now I focus this in this point okay or I can focus this in this point even I think the okay this corresponding so first of all I put a needle here 
and the gap is this much i will open my needle more than half okay more than half so i think so this much okay i make a arc here keep your eye on the arc okay and put needle here now at q dash okay this is too big anyway this point i'm getting here and one point i'm getting here one minute please uh, make it again okay so see one point i'm getting is here this cutting each other and one point i'm getting here so when i join these two points let's see uh, this point here and this point here these are called two perpend second perpendicular bisector as i will draw from here till here see this this is called for second and this is called first they are intersecting at that point which was i wrote already i wrote already you can see one minus one and this look x is one look it is coming so second method which is the two lengthy whenever you confuse you're not confident you can use this way otherwise um I'm going to show you last question. Okay, so let's start. First of all, translation. All of you know, uh, negative one six. Negative one six is what this diagram will go. One box left side, and because left negative, and six positive means upper six. So count one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and this one count one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Count for this point now. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now this point one one two three four five six. I hope so. This is very clear. So translation is done. And he said label it A. I'm labeling it at A. Now he said uh, rotate five three. Where is five three center? X is five y three here. And one a degree and label as B. So I'm using his tracing paper. Okay, center is this one. How now? Because five and three, this point. So luckily, point come on the coordinate. Cross. You know this point goes there. Ninety again come here. One eighty degrees. So let's start. This is called ninety, and again this is called one eighty. So I'm I just draw this diagram here. I hope so. The point is clear. Okay, now I'm going to I'm going to do the last part. This is called B shape. Now, this is a very important part. He says shape A describe fully for three marks. Describe fully for three marks A onto B. So A is object. This object. This is an image. So let's see the, what is the marks. One mark you're writing here rotation. Okay, center. I don't know. So how do you find center, student? Let's try to find it. <coughs> so look at here. This is object. I'm not sure where center. I'll try to get this object here. So first I try here. And I'm getting, I'm not getting the answer. No, slightly different. Go back, and now I'm trying with a this point, uh, and still it is not coming. Go back, and as I try, I think somewhere here, so it is exactly meeting. See, so it means this point. So x is 4.5 and y is 6. So it's rotation. Um, this is a uh, actually, if I let check the direction, how much direction is this? Because there's a center, and this point come here 90 degrees. So let's see, is it 90 or not? No, it's 90 and one more 90, so 180. So rotation 180 degree, center what we have? Center uh, 4.5, comma 6. So I hope so. You got it very clear. Although I can do two perpendicular bisector concept like take this point take this point and this point draw a bisector and take and this a bisector any two points and where they meet where they meet is called center of uh, rotation i hope so you got a point very clear